Hello, everybody. My name is Zach Pascarello. I am a certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor, and I own Harrisburg Bookkeeping. I already made one video today, and I don't normally make this many videos. Definitely don't usually make two videos in one day. But I had an extra cup of coffee this afternoon, and more importantly, I discovered a brand new feature inside of QuickBooks, and it's too good to not talk about. This is exciting for me. This is exciting for you as a business owner, if you're handling your own QuickBooks. And if you are a future business owner thinking about getting into business, I highly recommend QuickBooks. It's 20 bucks a month. You can manage your own accounting and finances very, very easily in the beginning. If you've been in business for over a year, your business is getting more complex, you're getting busier, you might not be able to do it all yourself, but if you're just starting out, you can absolutely do your own bookkeeping. I recommend it. The first six months, save on expenses, understand the finances behind your business, and do the bookkeeping yourself. It's not that hard. It's definitely not hard. It's just time consuming takes a lot of time. But this new feature is going to save everybody, you, me, bookkeepers, accountants, business owners, going to save everybody a bunch of time. So I'm going to jump right into it. A new QuickBooks feature, one caveat, it's only available for advanced subscriptions. It's only available for advanced QuickBooks Online Advanced. So if you have Simple Start, Essentials, or Plus, you will not have this feature. But if you have the advanced online version, you will have the ability to utilize what's called batch transactions. I've never used it before. I've never seen it before. This is brand new to me, probably brand new to you. So I'm going to talk about it. Okay. QuickBooks Online. Everybody's familiar with this. Okay, so you go to the plus new button and all the way over here in the bottom right hand corner, other batch transactions. Once again, this is brand new to me. I played around with it a little bit right before the video just to familiarize myself, but I've never actually done this before. So, and I doubt most of you have as well. If you have, great. If you haven't, hopefully we can learn something here real quick. So you can do anything. You can do invoices, bank deposits, Checks, expenses, bills, if you write your own checks, if you print your own checks directly from your computer and from QuickBooks, I'm going to do expenses. So this is cool. You can do everything right here. Multiple days, multiple categories, multiple payees, multiple accounts. So I'm going to do three, for example. So let's say you're going to, you have an expense to Adobe. Let's say you have an expense, Amazon. So here you can change the account. So you know it can come out of your checking account, come out of your credit card, you can change the account. You can change the date of the expense. You can make the date, you know, whatever, whatever day you purchased this. Um, payment method, all of these options are the same as they are whenever you normally do an expense, except now you can do multiple at the same time. So cash, check, credit card, stripe, payment method, and this is cool here, the, the type, category, details. Um, not sure what that is, I would just, I don't even know what that type is, category, details. But here, the category obviously the where it's going to show up on your chart of account so adobe we'll say that's office supplies and software and then what you can do here is if you hover over here and you want to split the transaction you can add a second line for the same transaction so hover over here press that little plus button and you can add a second line just how you would split an expense or split a transaction um, Amazon, let's say that one's job supplies, same thing. You can 
split it, description, whatever you want. Annual subscription for the description, and then Amazon will say paper amount. So you know, however much you spent at Adobe, we'll say nineteen ninety nine, and then paper, we'll say seventy five dollars and forty nine cents, and then all the options are the same: billable, yes or no. Are you going to bill your customer or client for this expense? Just check that box. Customer project, do you track your projects in QuickBooks? And then this would be for an invoice or a receipt or a bank deposit, but this is an expense. So this product service, description, quantity, rate, amount, that's not applicable for this. And then you can make the memo, whatever you want. I usually just make the memo match the description. I'm gonna leave it blank. Um, but yeah, you can do this. I mean, you can see, you can, you know, you can do a thousand transactions all at once if you want to do that. And then another cool feature, I'm not going to go into it right now, but you can copy and paste directly from Excel. So if you prefer to type all this information in Excel, uh, just make sure that the categories line up. So make sure that, you know, the first column in Excel is reference number and then payee and the payment account. And if you want to add or subtract the columns you can do so in the options right here so this is batch transactions i've never used it before pretty cool it's going to save everybody a lot of time especially if you're doing a lot of manual transactions if you're printing your checks if you're recording your invoices i'm definitely going to use this in the future um, if you have quickbooks online advanced take advantage of this try it out let me know how it's working for you and if you ever need any help with your QuickBooks, I'm happy to help. I own Harris Bookkeeping. I'm a certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor. I can help you with your taxes, your bookkeeping, just business in general. Appreciate you guys watching my videos and stay tuned for the next one. I will continue making these QuickBooks tutorials and I will see you all in the next video. Have a great day.